Okay, this is the uh, one two accumulator assembly. And I'll go over how easy it is to install the Sonics pinless. Um, same principle basically applies for the forward <clears throat> and the 3-4. Um, the um, it's very simple to do. I just got to grab a couple things here. Let's see, we've got that. We've got that punched. Yeah, that's the right one. Hammer, screwdriver. So always have a punch. Don't need the pick. I will use a T45 um, long Torx bit. It's just, I believe, is a Harbor Freight. I'll show you why I use it in a minute. Whetstone, the pinless kit, and then of course the housing, a hammer. Mm, what else? Oh yeah. Now, you might not have this if you have a Dremel grate. If not, I mean, you probably won't have the bits, the sanding, polishing pieces for it. Like that. But you can get them. You can get them in a variety of different uh, grits and things like that. And you can get them in different colors. Signifies the different grit. But, I mean, you know, it, it's clean. It still needs to be roughed up in here. Um, but I'll, I'll start just by punching this pin out and just remove the pin. Let's use the punch, knock the pin out that direction. And inside the kit, you'll get the piston, a Teflon ring, a rubber ring, and then you'll have a couple check balls. The larger check ball you will not use. The smaller one you will. Set it down into there. Just kind of push it with your finger to kind of get it started and take your punch. And drive it down in until it stops. There, now that it's stopped, we can see it on the back side. This is where the T45 comes in. This works great to stake these in place. In, you don't have to do it in the case, but in the valve body you do for the forward. But just kind of line it up. Keep it straight. First to set it. And then a couple good hard ones to get it in there. And it stakes the ball in there really nice. So the ball can't retract out. As far as your rings go, the rubber ring goes on the top flat part, the piston. The Teflon one goes on here. I just set it on it, around it. You gotta be careful because you can stretch it a little too much. And you just kind of walk it around with your fingernail. I wouldn't use a tool on it because it, you'll, you'll ro you could roll it. And you don't want to do that. Just gently, it's already on. And to square it up a little bit in that groove, I'll just kind of roll it on the flat table. So now I know it's in there nice and good. <clears throat> I still have to sand that up. Get this stretched over here enough. So I'll hit this real good. Get it nice and polished up in this groove here in the bore. Gives it a really nice seal. You can do it by hand with some sandpaper. This is just faster and more uniform. Before I clean it, and just some type of a lubricant, just put a little bit of PB on it, just something. It can even be water if you want, but you want to take this surface and work it. To get it nice and uniform and flat. Just hold it in your hand like this or lay it on the table. just keep going to you can actually see the flat spots on it if it is warped at all because it will it's aluminum it gets hot it gets cold but I can see a little bit where there's all the liquid on it here but not much right in there
There, see now it's covering a little bit better everywhere. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but especially with that light. But I'm telling you, over the years of doing it, you'll see them, they'll be warped in a little bit. And again, it's hydraulic, it's leakage, you don't want it. Because you'll get dirt collection down in here. It'll start to collect down around this. It's really hard to get it out sometimes. But this brake cleaner, this works extremely well at dissolving all the black goo in those little hard to reach places like that. This unit did have the plastic style accumulator, which I will never use or reuse. They do like to crack around where the pin is. Um, then you'll get a problem with one too. And then also they make this in aluminum, which is, I mean, it's okay, but it's still such a narrow, you know, accumulator. You can get, it can still have issues in the bore where this is so thick, you don't get that problem. Get a little bit of assembly grease and just coat the pinless accumulator a decent amount. I should have done it to this first. And then drop my springs in. Just kind of rock it back and forth till it's centered in there. It's in. You can air check it if you want, if you have an air compressor. Just be careful, because it will come out of there. Oh, see, I hit it with a little too much. I wonder if I have a spring. I could probably hold it tension against it with another spring. I don't know if you can see it function. I don't think you'll be able to see it real good on camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a definitely good seal. But yeah, that's how you install the pinless accumulators in these. I'll pop it back out a little bit. Just sit it below flush like that. It doesn't matter. Once it applies, it's done. But they're not hard to do. 